Well, isn't this just a treat? It sure is. Hello, father. Hello, daughter. <laughs> <laughs> We've done a lot of cooking over the years, but I've never had an opportunity to be part of Tastefully Grace. Oh, I know. Under the lights? Under Are you the blinded? Lights. Are you feeling? Can you well, see? It's a can little different than my kitchen, <laughs> I can tell you that. <laughs> well, this is very exciting too because this dish is one of my all-time favorites from being a kid. It's kind of weird saying that chicken salt and boca is something that I ate as a five-year-old. So let's get cooking. Oh yeah. Cheers. Cheers. I feel like this dish tastes more complicated than it actually is because this is really surprising. There's not that much going yeah, on here. Yeah. yeah, it's a simple dish. We've got here some uh, chicken cutlets, basically some breasts that have been butterflied and cut in half. And you then can usually get those from the grocery store. You can get them from free. the grocery store, but they tend to be uh, cut in eighths, so they're too small uh, for this dish. Okay. So, so here you basically, I think it's better to do it on your own. You just buy a breast, you boneless, skinless breast, yep. cut it in half, yep. and then just cut that down the middle. Nice. And so we've got two breasts make four portions. Yep. And so we're basically going to take some sage and put that on the top and then wrap it in a, a layer of prosciutto. So let's get dirty. Let's get doing. <laughs> I prefer the tender, small mm, leaves yep. rather than the larger ones. I think they have a better taste. Yep. And so I'm basically going to just take a couple of these. doesn't matter the size, but here, just, here, just dive in. I'll pinch some off. Yep. So the, the bigger leaves, they're a little bit less tender, but I they think still they're have less the same tender, flavor. and I don't think they have the intensity that the really? smaller leaves do. Yeah. So this so one's usually, not gonna be good. <laughs> <laughs> so I usually, yeah, I yeah that leaf. one's for you. <laughs> <laughs> I usually use three on each. Okay. Except when I use the huge leaves, then. Then I would do two. Okay. Yeah. So the last piece here. Okay. It's on right, and then we'll just take a nice piece of prosciutto here. Yeah. Okay and it basically goes right over the middle and then wrap it on the other side. Chicken is obviously slippery, <laughs> but. You don't have very much uh, fingernail to work no, with. No, <laughs> there's not a lot of fingernail. These are a lot cheaper than yours, <laughs> let me tell you. What's great about this is that the prosciutto kind of naturally sticks to the chicken. Yes, it does. Because it has yeah. like a natural, um, Surface tension Surface or something tension. like that. I think I think your sister, the science brainiac, oh, yes. would, would be able to, to explain to you. Yes. <laughs> Whatever it is, it's would, would explain. Slippery. Yeah, yeah. It's she'd fun. be able to explain the physics of <laughs> the of chicken salt and boca. <laughs> okay, now that we've wrapped the prosciutto around the sage and the uh, chicken, mm -hmm. all we're going to do then is just lightly sort of dredge it in the flour, shake the excess off, yep. and put it in our little prep. Uh, tray for it to be sauteed and so do you put anything in the flour? The seasoned salt? Just... I usually add pepper so I don't know if whether you have any pepper we could. Well it's too late. It's too late. <laughs> <laughs> One second. <laughs> Why yes I do have black pepper. <laughs> and you know when you season flour you would normally do salt and pepper but again there's a Salty. lot of salt in the prosciutto you just right. don't want too much salt. Is that about right? That sounds, that looks, okay. sounds and looks great. <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna just take one of these babies yep. and just sort of sprinkle a little bit of flour on it. And you're not trying to flour it, you're just giving it a little coating so that it ends, it, it gives it a slight crust when mm. it sautés. So, so that's it, that's, that's all you do. Am I a good dredger? You're, you're <laughs> one, of the, one of the best dredgers I've seen. <laughs> so next, we're gonna Heat a pan with some olive oil and some butter over a medium high heat mm -hmm. and saute on both sides for two to three minutes a Just side. Let them get crispy. A little brown, a little crispy. Oh. And then we'll do a sauce. <laughs> Preheat a large nonstick skillet with a little olive oil and butter over medium high heat. When the butter is melted, place the wrapped chicken in the hot skillet. Let that baby sizzle and brown for about two to three minutes per side. Transfer the chicken to a baking sheet in a 300 degree oven for about five minutes, depending on the thickness of the chicken, until the internal temp is at least 165. Add thin slices of Fontina cheese and let it melt for about a minute. Remove from the oven and keep chicken on the hot baking sheet. So now we're gonna make a simple sauce 
right in the pan that the chicken cooked in. So you're making me work? You have to work, work <laughs> for food. I was going to have my wine. Work for food. <laughs> you have to work for food. Okay. <laughs> Sing for your supper. <laughs> okay, so we've got a finely minced shallot. Ooh. And that goes in. And so this is just the hot pan that we used to yep. cook the chicken in. Yep, so and you've got all pan. the drippings from the chicken in there. And our- What the um, French called the fond, le fond. Le fond. Yeah, so all those little drippings. Le fond. Okay, so you just want to give that like a minute. Now wow. we're going to add some, a little bit of wine, Ooh. deglaze the pan. Can we just have that on the chicken? <laughs> there we go. And then we're going to add about a tablespoon of diced tomatoes per cutlet. Mm. One, two, three, and then four. There mm. we go. Then for the finishing touch, a little bit of butter to just nope. finish the sauce it's and stuck. give it a little, a little <laughs> silkiness. Oh, I always say, butter makes everything better and I wonder where I got it from. I, I wonder, <laughs> I wonder. Finally, it's it's done and it's plated and it's ready to be consumed. The moment of truth. Oh, the moment of truth. Memories of your childhood. Oh man, this little piece here was calling to me because it's extra cheesy and there go. prosciutto y Mmm, I'm not even waiting for you. Mmm. Mm. What do you think? Oh, that's pretty good. That is. Fantastic. It's really delicious. It honestly brings me right back to being five again. I kind of want to, you know, be coddled. <laughs> and, you'll, and you'll always be five to me. Check it out on tastefullygrace.com. You won't regret it. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. So it's time to get serious. We got to put this wine down and get chicken. Let's do it. <laughs> <laughs>